Thank you. Um, I feel very privileged to be here and uh, on behalf of the organisation, we're a not-for-profit uh, registered charity and with DGR status and like many community groups in the room have limited resources and capabilities. We have two part-time staff, we have um, 130 volunteers and run programs for children and young people who are dis disabled and have a disability uh, at, on an average range of about three and a half to 4,000 participants a year. So we need all the help we get because we are limited by our funding. We don't have any other than what we fundraise and what we can get in philanthropy. And so we very much value the contribution of um, our students in our programs. We have no office. So our, um, what we offer is sailing programs based in Sydney. And we, as we have no office, our web is our significant portal to the world. So it is our entry and exit point for all our information. Um, as Claire said, in 2013, we had a volunteer um, program where, as an end result of the implementation of that, I'm sure UTS will be pleased to know, we were recognised this year by the Minister for Sport uh, in New South Wales for a management award for volunteers, in implementing the work that the students did and provided us in partnership in 2013. So we were looking forward to this project and let me tell you, we are overwhelmed and mind and just blown away by the, the commitment. What we had was a problem. We have, think of your garage at home or your grandma's garage and think of all those boxes and think of everything that the families put in their boxes for the last 20 years. We had 22 years of media articles, race records, photographs of kids on boats, documents in boxes. We wanted to create our story to create for our bona fides and for also to show the world what we'd achieved and to use for funding opportunities. So we had no preconceptions and we met our 5B team who are all here tonight and who have now become part of the family. And our brief was create us something. We called it an archive process and said, but it became so much more. They became the storytellers for our organisation and they have created such a tool, such an asset for us that will enable us to show the world what we have achieved. And they are now part of the organisation because they've created it and joined us as a partner and become part of our community. Our brief was to do it, to be different. There's no constraints. Just make sure it's accessible for people with disabilities and it's usable for us in the future to add information. It was a program enabler which was a creative story which would be an archive for the organisation and more importantly for the world to tell our story. The 5B teams were our storyteller. They created the story and so much more. And you'll be pleased to know Bill and Claire. They listened, they engaged, they were thoughtful, they were fun, they were innovative, they were committed, and they did far and beyond their 100 hours. In fact, they were here today still working on an ad page for the website that they just wanted to get done for us. It inspired us as an organisation with 110 volunteers that Australia is in, in good hands with the next generation. And they became immersed in our project and were flexible and did anything they could to get an understanding of the organisation. Did we get what we needed? Sure, and more. And now we're looking forward to the next project and we'd like to commend UTS and Shopfront for providing the innovation and insight for a grassroots community partnership programs that we will believe is a win for win for everyone. And I'd like to congratulate individually the 5B team and say you're part of the family and we're not going to let you go. Thank you. <laughs> to learn more about UTS Shopfront, visit our website or Facebook page.